from the Pew Center says 1.8 million dead people are currently registered to vote. So the question is, what's to keep someone from getting several names of the deceased people and voting numerous times? Fox 31's Ashley Knight connects us to what the process is in place in Georgia. We have to prevent that. Are the dead still among us? And are they voting? A recent report says it's possible folks are taking the names of the deceased and committing voter fraud. Director of the Doherty County Elections Office, Ginger Nickerson, says a death certificate of every citizen that passes is kept in the vital records database, which is constantly being checked by the Secretary of State's office. The database searches the uh, vital records um, database, and any uh, voters that are in there would be removed uh, via the Secretary of State. And elections offices may soon have more power at the local level. Congress is now looking over legislation that would allow offices to remove names of deceased people if they see an obituary in the newspaper. Georgia is on the forefront of making sure that all of our voters that are deceased are, are removed. And even though you must show ID when you vote, you can still vote without an approved form of ID on what's called a provisional ballot. But you have to swear when you do that that you are the person who's shown on the voter's certificate. And it's a felony if that's a false statement you make when you go with that route. Which means you would face at least a year and one day in jail and possibly a fine. Stay connected to this story at MySouthwestGA.com. Ashley Knight, Fox 31 News.